twenty four more for Nana. Twenty twenty, twenty twenty four more for Nana. Twenty twenty, twenty twenty four more for Nana. Twenty twenty, twenty twenty four more for Nana. Ladies and gentlemen, this solar power plant will provide electricity to about 50,000 households through the Northern Electricity Distribution Company. This will in turn contribute to the acceleration of the socio-economic development in the Upper West, Savannah and Upper East regions by ensuring the availability of stable and cost-effective electricity. I am happy to hear that progress of work also, Mr. President, at the Kaleo is satisfactory and works will be completed early next year for you, Mr. President, to come again to the region to commission the Kaleo project at the very early stage in your next term in office. That is why it is important for people of this region and all other parts of this country to give His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Akufuado four more to do more. My presence in Laura this afternoon has historic consequences. And I'm glad that we're all gathered here today to witness history in the making right before our very eyes. It will be recalled that on Tuesday, February 4th, 2020, I was in Kaleo in the Nadoli district to cut the sword for the construction of two solar power projects, one in Kaleo and the other in Laura, both in the Upper West region. I indicated at the time that once completed, these two projects will deliver a combined power supply of about 20 megawatts to the national grid. Eight months on, I'm happy to commission the first of the power projects which has been completed, and that is the 6.5 megawatt solar power project here in Laura. Today's ceremony reaffirms the commitment of government to diversify the country's energy generation portfolio and thereby help increase the renewable energy component of our energy mix and contribute to our fight against the effects of climate change. The completion of this project in Laura should remind all of us that the government of Nanado Dankwa Kufuado delivers on its promises. As I indicated at the sword cutting ceremony, this solar plant is the first of its kind ever to be established in the Upper West region. This means the Upper West region has now its fair share of power generation facilities in the country. I'm very confident that this plant and that at Kaleo, whose combined output is sufficient to meet a significant portion of the electricity demand in the Upper West region, will help support local, small, and medium-scale enterprises, as well as enhance other socioeconomic activities. Further, it will help reduce transmission losses on our national grid and improve the reliability of the distribution system in Laura and its environment. I'm pleased that the contractor, in the process of constructing this plant, employs some 100 people from communities within the Laura district. I'm expecting that persons, particularly the youth, with the requisite technical skills, will be recruited for the operation and maintenance phase of this facility. It is gratifying to learn that the Volta River Authority, VRA, will ensure that this facility becomes a source for practical studies on solar power operation by technical universities in the regions of the northern sector of Ghana. Again, as part of their corporate social responsibility to the community, both VRA and ELECNOR, the project contractor, have undertaken to provide smaller installations of solar power as backup power to some specific facilities in the community, namely 
the Laura Hospital, Municipal Police Command, and the standalone system to the Laura Paramount Chiefs Palace. I applaud the two organizations for their leadership and commitment to the welfare of the people of Laura. Now, Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I did indicate at the beginning of my speech that my presence in Laura has historic consequences. You would recall that on 15th October 2017, at the Kobe Festival in Laura, I indicated that the construction of the Dipke Bridge was imminent and would commence after the conclusion of bilateral discussions with the government of Burkina Faso. These discussions have been concluded. And so before coming here, I fulfilled that promise by cutting the sword for the commencement of construction of the Dikbe Bridge over the Black Volta River. And also for the construction of Laura Town Roads and a bypass. The contract awarded to Messrs. Green Eye Engineering Limited will cost €26,458,521 and will be completed in 24 months. The project consists of the following components. One, construction of a 275 meter long bridge. Two, construction of 12 kilometers of Laura town roads and bypass. Three, construction of a rest stop consisting of a lorry park, a mini market, and facilities for the police service, immigration service, and the customs division of the Ghana Revenue Authority. Four, construction of a toll plaza. And fifthly, construction of an axle load way station. Once completed, the project will serve several purposes. It will open up communities in the area, strengthen regional integration, improve all year round access to schools, hospitals and markets, eliminate interruptions in transporting people, farm produce and other items during the rainy season, and avoid long detours, resulting in reduced transport costs and travel time. We in the new Patriotic Party deliver on our promises. We promise to construct a solar power plant in Laura, and we have delivered. We promise to commence construction of the Dikwe Bridge, and we have delivered. We promise to upgrade Laura from a district to municipality status, and we have delivered.